of Chevin Cordero. All right, we'll start with questions on the Zoom. You're on mute. Uh, uh, with each drive, he's got closer to the end zone in the first, first quarter and went through the game. Um, how did that affect, I guess, you know, with the penalties and whatnot? Is it just not loud where it really affected uh, just performance overall? I mean, uh, it was something we weren't used to. Um, we tried going silent. But, I mean, uh, it's just uh, at the end of the day, we've got to finish. Um, I feel like there were, there were two drives in the red zone that we didn't finish, and, I mean, we got to capitalize on that. And so last, um, or Matt Weiner from Spirit, last week you weren't throwing to Charles Ross, he wasn't there, but then this week you were. Can you tell me how he, um, so influence of him, but then also how he works around with Elijah Cooks and Justin Lockhart? I mean, uh, I mean, he showed himself, uh, I mean, he went up and got, he grabbed balls, um, he got open. I mean, at them three, Justin, Elijah, and um, Charles, um, I mean, they can get open and make my job easier. Uh, I mean, I want to thank the whole line. Um, I mean, they did a hell of a job today. And my running backs, my tight ends, um, I mean, our defense. Uh, I mean, it was, we, we fought hard today. And how important is going into an environment like Auburn, as crazy as it was, and be, being a leader, and then using the, some of those things that you saw today going forward and continuing to build leadership? I mean, uh, we knew the stadium was going to be packed. I mean, we knew it was going to be noisy. So, I mean, uh, I mean, I felt like we were prepared. Um, and, uh, I mean, there's no excuses. Uh, the crowd was loud, but, I mean, we dealt with that after the first uh, red zone. And, uh, I mean, we just got to be able to finish, um, and, I mean, score points at the end of the day. And, uh, I mean, yeah, let's uh, watch film and get better. One last question for me. Uh, Shavin, your vision and your decision-making is really, really on point, you know, watching on TV and everything. Does, does that you know, kind of come naturally for you, or is that something learned, or is that something Coach McKibben, or all the above? Um, I mean, basically just uh, living in Coach McGiven's office, uh, just watching film with him 24-7, asking him questions, um, him getting me prepared. Uh, I mean, uh, I mean, reading pre, um, reading my pre-snap reads uh, felt easy, and uh, I mean, that's when we were just rolling. Well, we got to start um, for the first drive, and I mean, uh, do every drive, score every drive. Thank you. All right. Any more questions for Chef? Kind of the same question that yeah. I asked. Oh, oh, can I ask one more? Yeah, go for it. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Um, can you tell me what it was like for you to be on the sidelines with Brennan when the camera um, showed him during the game? He was, it seemed like he was always positive. He was fist pumping pretty much during every shot of him. What was it like for you to see that and be with him? I mean, it feels good. That, um, I mean. I feel like you gotta have a head coach that I mean believes in us and trusts us. And I mean, if you see him in the negative, then the whole team's gonna be negative. He's our he's our leader. Uh, we follow him, and um, I mean, uh, I mean, it's always good to see him happy and cheering us on on the sideline. All right, question from Emily. Um, I asked your your teammate the other question too. But what did it mean to have you know the contingency of San Jose State fans and family in that section? You know, right there behind the bench. I mean, it feels good um, that. Uh, I mean, they came all the way over here in Alabama um, to cheer us on. I mean, uh, like you said, it comes a long way. And we know that uh, it feels good that we have them, we have their support. And um, I mean, yeah. It was an energetic stadium. You know, you guys obviously knew that coming in, but you guys managed to harness that energy, especially in the first half, and use it to your advantage. What do you feel? How do you feel you did that? What, did the game slow down for you a little bit? Like, what do you, what do you feel clicked for you, especially in that first half? Because you guys look good. I mean, I feel good uh, when they're cheering. Um, I feel like, I mean, it just pumps me on more. And, uh, when it's loud, uh, I mean, it gives me energy. So, I mean, uh, I just use that to my advantage. And uh, like I said, we, I mean, we should have finished in the red zone, but I mean, uh, it is what it is. Is that something you're going to take, you know, going to this bye week? Is that something you're going to work on for the next week coming out of that? Or is there anything in particular in your game that you want to tighten up for the next out? Uh, I feel like I was just starting off fast, um, scoring from the first drive. I mean, and of course, uh, finishing the red zone. I mean, uh, I think that's one uh, we lacked that last game and uh, this game too. And um, I mean, if we finish in the red zone, get uh, six points on the board, I mean, uh, it would have been a lot different scoreboard. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Chef.